Hi guys, my name is Jenna. If you guys are new here, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a mid-year goals check-in video. Man, can you guys believe we're halfway through the year? Honestly, thinking about everything that has happened this year for me, yeah, I can believe we're halfway through. I feel like a lot has happened and this is really the first year in my life that I've been really setting goals for myself in the beginning of the year, in the beginning of every single month. It's honestly, I feel like really changed my life and I feel like I've supported myself in my own personal growth this year. So I'm usually not one to set goals for myself especially metric based like performance based goals I'm really not good at that just because I already do that for my nine-to-five job but I feel like a lot has progressed in 2023 I feel like honestly the healthiest happiest and like most well-rounded type of me that I've been ever since I even started my YouTube channel with you guys almost three years ago so it's kind of crazy and I really feel like goal setting and planning and kind of prepping who I want to be by the end of the year is something that has really helped me if you guys are interested in my monthly goals I do have a separate plan with me video that I do every single month but since it's mid-year I really wanted to make a separate video just on how the yearly goals look right now how the notion template looks right now and we're just gonna kind of update everything in real time and see what goals I want to change what goals I've accomplished what goals I want to add but if you want to see the monthly portion that's not in this video I actually already went through my July goals and my previous month goals with you guys in a recent summer 9 to 5 life video so check out that if you're interested but today's video is all about yearly goals this this is my notion template and this template is actually free for you guys I made it myself it's very beginners friendly because I'm a beginner myself with notion and I really love this template I've honestly changed like near nothing since I made this six months ago so I'm gonna leave a link for the notion tour and just a link to this template in general in the description box if you guys want it but here's how my notion looks it looks so good I honestly love everything still like all the pictures that I chose all the widgets that I chose the whole like sunset sky color palette I just really love that so so much this year so that's how everything looks before I go through my yearly goals I'll just give you guys like a sneak peek we have weekly check-in we have calendars YouTube posting dates we have lots of stuff a brain dump of just like different video ideas focus hub 80 20 lifestyle where I do all of my weekly meal planning just so many things are in this template and I would really recommend you guys at least try it out but if we go back home we are going to go to our yearly goals okay let's look at what I set myself out to be in 12 months six months ago we have personal health and fitness and career and i really like just kind of breaking down my yearly goals of just in what ways do i want to grow this year so i knew i wanted to grow personally i knew i really wanted to grow my health and fitness and i knew i really wanted to grow somehow in my career whether it's my nine to five full-time market research job or working on my youtube and my business so i think those are like my big three buckets of how i really wanted to grow this year so i've made little small goals in accordance to those three things we have cute photos and reminders and just like a nice little time lapse of where we are in the year i always like looking at that our goals in the middle and then on the right side we have a quarterly breakdown a monthly breakdown of just like how i'm going to accomplish all of the goals in the middle how can I make it a little bit easier for me to accomplish month by month? We are going to actually do a refresh now though because I think it's a little unrealistic to think that you're just going to set goals once and maintain that throughout the entire year and nothing will ever change because I feel like goals are just a really fluid thing and that's the whole point of growing in the first place is that things change. But with all of that considered, I actually feel really good about these goals. I think for the most part, but let's just go through every single bucket and see where we're at, what we can change and all that jazz. Personal, read at least five books. Okay guys, I did read five books this year. I started and finished five books in the year of 2023, which you guys is such a big accomplishment for me. These are the five books that I've read. Start to finish. I finished Think Like a Monk, so that's kind of like a quarter of a book, but I don't count that in my five. I started and read Things We Never Got Over, It Ends With Us, People We Meet on Vacation, The Love Hypothesis, and Love in Other Words. Clearly, I love romance, but you guys, the fact that I read and finished five books this year I haven't done that since high school. I think that's just such a big accomplishment. And honestly, for me, one of my like challenges or weaknesses personally is that I have a really hard time doing unproductive things. I have a really hard time just sitting still, whether it's 
leisurely enjoying a show or a movie or reading and I feel like I've really genuinely enjoyed reading so much this year. Through this goal of reading five books this year, I feel like I've actually just really enjoyed reading and now I really call it a hobby of mine. It's been really nice because I feel like reading is very self-care focused as long as you take your time and not feel any pressure to like read fast or read everything all at once. But I just really love reading. It's such a nice escape and I love just reading a good romance story. It's so, so just like heartwarming and exciting and thrilling and sweet. So I love reading. We're going to check that off. Now I'm going to make another goal of, I'm going to write, I'm going to, okay, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to write mid-year, finish five, read, not finish, read five more books. Okay, I think that looks really good. And I do wanna keep that I did check off my initial goal of reading five books because I feel like this just means that I'm like exceeding my expectations even in just one small way of in some way I wanted to grow this year. So mid-year, read five more books. We'll see if we do that, but I think we will. Okay, weekly self-care, journal, manicure, etc. Here's the problem. I think weekly self-care has become way too vague for me. I don't know what that means. And it's honestly not something that I really wanna track. So whether or not I check this off at the end of the year is not gonna be extremely specific. It's just gonna feel like, okay, at the end of the year, do I feel like I took care of myself on a weekly basis? And I would say that honestly, for the most part, I do try to be mindful of taking care of myself weekly. That's not to say I don't have stressful weeks. I definitely have had a lot of stressful weeks, but I feel like during those stressful weeks, if I have a weak moment where I just like explode and have like a mental breakdown or something, then I bounce back from it pretty quickly. And I feel like that's because I've been able to balance my self-care in just a bunch of different ways, whether it's journaling, coloring, talking to a friend on the phone, manicures, and finally getting my nails done. Because at-home manicures is just not something that I'm gonna be doing, I don't think, at least for the summer. I think just finding ways to slow down and balance yourself out of things that fill your soul versus ways that you'll like more professionally and I guess like productively grow, I just feel like it's a good way to do both at once instead of pouring all in one cup. So I'm not gonna check this off, but I do think that this is something that I'm trying to keep in mind more. So yeah, I think it's in a good spot. Okay, create a consistent morning slash night routine. I definitely have that down still and I'm just really glad because I focused on it a lot in the first quarter of this year like what is my ideal morning routine what is my ideal night routine I filmed them both even for you guys to show you how I best balance my self-care and my work and everything else and especially my health and fitness too just having times that I know it works best for me I've been able to really create a really good routine of just like my overall life and I feel like it all starts with just breaking out your day into chunks of morning, work, and night. So I'm doing good. I feel like I'm hyping myself up right now. Grow my relationship with Thomas with something new. I'm going to check this off because if you guys have been watching the weekly vlogs or I think I did it in my what I eat in a week video that I did recently, Thomas and I started doing monthly check-ins. And if you guys are new to my channel, I've been dating my boyfriend since high school and I'm 26 right now, so we've been dating for nine years. And I feel like as healthy of a relationship as I have, there's always ways I can be more proactive and kind of focus back in on my relationship instead of just kind of being on cruise control of being in a healthy relationship for nine years. It's just kind of easy to know how to have those good days. So I wanna make sure that we're still really growing and that we're focusing on each other and through all the life changes, whether it's moving out of this apartment or starting medical school or whatever it is we're still kind of doing it together and thinking about each other all along the way of life so we started doing monthly check-ins and we did get a puppy together which i think was just a really nice change in dynamic for our relationship it's been really nice seeing thomas kind of take a more parental role in our relationship and me too with just taking care of our little puppy so it's been amazing i feel like our relationship has grown so much this year already that doesn't mean we haven't had our challenges because when he started medical school almost a year ago now i think it was really hard for me to adjust and on top of all of that we moved in together at around the same time so it was just kind of a lot at once i tried my best to leave all of that in 2022 and try to enter 2023 with a really good mindset of growing my healthy relationship and not kind of self imploding on all the changes. So I feel like we've been growing really well this year and I'm honestly excited about what's gonna come for the rest of the year. Become an early sleeper. I think we're gonna do something about this, you guys, because becoming an early sleeper, like, yes, ideally, I think everyone would like to sleep early, ideally, besides those night owls that stay up until three, which used to be me. I feel like it's just, we all know that it's healthy to sleep earlier, but I don't really know. I think I might just take this off if I'm being honest. 
delete. <laughs> Become an early sleeper, like, yes, I really wanna do that, but that's because I just usually like to run in the mornings right now. So if I do run in the morning, then I have to sleep early. So yeah, I think we're gonna remove that. And in terms of adding anything else to our personal goals, prioritize time alone. Part of what helped me graduate therapy in March, if you guys know, I was in therapy for a whole year and I stopped my sessions in March because I felt like I was finally at a time in my life where I was very accepting of everything. I was very embracing of all the changes. And since then, I've been trying to really prioritize less plans, time alone, and actually adopt a low drinking lifestyle. You guys know that's something that I've really started doing in the last six months. I don't know why I didn't add this six months ago, but I've kind of adopted a low drinking lifestyle. Um, so I'm gonna add that as a goal that I have completed, but prioritizing time alone is something that I still really wanna work on. I wanna just kind of like go down on my social plans. And that doesn't have to mean that I don't wanna see anyone. I think I just wanna really prioritize my time alone more. Okay, so I think that's everything. I feel really good about these personal goals. Let's go into health and fitness now. Okay, 80-20 lifestyle. I would say for the most part, again, this is not something I'm going to track because I'm not going to track like every single thing that I eat, every single meal that I have, and then measure it all out was that 80% of the time healthy stuff. I think just having an 80-20 lifestyle or mindset is totally good enough that you just wanna make more healthy, more conscious decisions on a very regular basis. I do wanna keep this as a goal that I haven't completed, but I really still want to prioritize balancing out making healthy choices in the foods that I'm eating while also allowing myself to eat sweets if I want to and kind of meet my cravings in that way. So we're not gonna check that off, but I feel really good about it. Like I said, you guys, I have a whole 80-20 lifestyle where I plan out weekly dinner meal plans. So I really like doing that. It's been a really good habit of mine. And I think we're on good track. We're on good track. Cooking more, finding go-to recipes and more Korean food. So I'm gonna check this off, but I'm going to edit it. Cook more Korean food. Okay, so I've definitely been cooking more in general, but I haven't been cooking more Korean food. So maybe for the rest of the year, I can focus more on actually making more Korean food. All I really made is kimchi jjigae, which was really fun, but I wanna make more things now that I'm feeling more comfortable just cooking in general. But if you guys have been watching, I have definitely been cooking a lot more and it's a lot of fun and it's something that I do with Thomas. It's something that I de-stress from the workday with and it's just really nice and it kind of adds into the whole idea of making more healthy choices in general with my food. So I really like that, but I really wanna cook more Korean food. It's not even that hard. I just need to prioritize it. Run a 10 mile race. We're gonna add to this because there's another thing that I checked off, if you guys know run a half marathon. I cannot believe I freaking did that, but running is one of those things like reading. It's just something that has totally shifted and changed my life. I feel like I've really adopted such healthy habits and healthy hobbies that fill up my time well, give me good de-stressing, give me a good self-care moment, but also I just love finding more hobbies outside of filming and making YouTube videos outside of my job. So I do wanna document the things that I have completed this year. I just feel like I've completed more than I thought that I would, so I wanna document that. Run a half marathon. Maintain consistency with exercise. I'm definitely on a really good track with that. I'm not gonna check it off right now just because I'll wait until the end of the year. But you guys know that maintaining my fitness routine is something that's really, 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 really top priority to me. It's something that if I don't have my normal like four to five time workout week, I will just probably not be in a good mood. So that's something that I've really been prioritizing. I think of the whole year so far, there's only been like, maybe three weeks where I didn't do a full workout week. So I've been doing a really good job, I think, with my health and fitness. And I feel really good about where I'm at too. I feel like I'm a, the fittest, strongest, healthiest, I feel like I've really ever been in the last three years, so. Okay, let's see. Lastly, career. A lot of things have happened in my career to you guys. This has just been crazy. And I feel like I'm speaking very positively, but I don't mean to. I just think that, again, like planning all this out and going into the year knowing how I wanted to grow has just actually told myself and allowed myself to do that and accomplish that. It's kind of like, I guess, manifestation, I guess, if you will. I feel really good. And career, I've done a lot of stuff so far, like 
doing one video outside my comfort zone every single month. So many videos, you guys. I've done what I eat in a week. I've done a closet declutter. I've done 10 tips for long distance running. I've done so many videos that I've never done ever before that I really wanted to challenge myself, even morning and night routine. I just wanted to challenge myself and create more content and just kind of feel that buzz again of being more creative aside from my weekly vlogs and routine videos and stuff that... It's just been really nice. And even though my channel itself has grown the least of all three years, I'm totally okay with it just because I know that one day that time will come where more of you guys are gonna enter this family. But I really love where I'm at creatively this year and also approaching my business as more a side thing and not two full-time things with my job has just been really healthy, I think for me. So that kind of leads to a goal down below a little bit more of not being burnt out this year. Truthfully, maintaining my consistency with my YouTube channel on top of working a nine to five full-time job on top of everything else that comes with life, it's been hard to be consistent 52 weeks of the year. So this year was the first year that I allowed myself a video off if I needed it. Usually I've been taking one video off a month outside of my schedule to just like totally relax or catch up on things. And I feel like it's helped me to not not burn out this year. There's definitely been a couple of weeks where I'm like pressed for deadlines, but my sponsorships have been lower than ever. My revenue, my kind of everything has been lower than ever, but I'm totally okay with that because if it means that I don't get burnt out and I don't just like explode professionally, then I'm totally okay with that. Maybe that's just kind of how life should be anyways in order to be healthy and happy. No burnout this year. I'm doing a good job, but we'll see how the rest of the year goes. And then get a new piece of equipment for YouTube. You guys know that I did get my new camera. I'm actually using the 11 millimeter lens right now. I'm testing out two different lenses for anyone that cares, but I got a new microphone. I got a whole new camera, the Sony ZV-E10, and I've just been absolutely loving it. And then rebrand my YouTube. I'm kind of in the process of doing that. I've definitely been challenging myself this year also with making new intros and just being more creative with like color grading, but I really want to find a good color grading style for me. So I've been experimenting a lot. I'm sorry if you guys have been watching consistently. I feel like the colors have just been all crazy lately, but that's like the joy of making videos. You can kind of do something different every single time. So I'm going through like a little bit of a rebrand and we'll see what happens, but I've been loving just kind of experimenting and learning more about the editing process. So I'm not gonna do that just yet, but we're on good track. And then lastly, release a new collection for JH Collective. I have everything already aside from actually taking the content to release a new collection for you guys. I know it's a little bit later Late, but I think I'm just gonna release it because why not? It's still July. Let me know if you guys are excited. I'm so excited. We have one limited edition color crew and we have three new colors of putting the Miss You Already design on a t-shirt. So I'm so excited to show you guys the final colors and everything, but just stay tuned. I promise it's coming soon. Okay, so that's how everything is looking. I'm not really gonna add anything career-wise because there's not anything I can think of in terms of what I wanna do with my jobs. Totally skipped over the fact that I got promoted, but I did get promoted at my nine to five job in the beginning of the year. I feel like that's really all I wanted to do this year. I just wanna to continue to grow and do good work at my nine to five job. So I guess that's really all I have to say about it. But for the most part, here's how the goals look. I think they look really good. Again, I'm not trying to like to my own horn or anything, but I'm just actually really proud of myself. And I hope that you guys can feel inspired about how you wanna grow for the rest of the year because this style has been working really well for me. And I feel like I'm doing a good balance of big, broad goals of just how overall I wanna grow as a person, but also things that I can just kind of check off that I'm really proud of myself for accomplishing throughout the year. My third quarter focus is career, which is definitely true. I've been focusing a lot on my YouTube and my nine to five job this year. And then for the fourth quarter of 2023, we're just gonna put it all together. Every single bucket, health, fitness, personal and career, we're gonna focus on all that for the last quarter and just kind of hone in on everything. So that's how the quarterly breakdown looks. And then monthly breakdown, just kind of wanna do a little refresh of what I think thought I was gonna do. So July, I'm focusing a lot on cooking and 80-20. I can do that. I think I've been doing that actually really well. August, reading, run a 10K. We're gonna read a lot more in August and we're going to focus on YouTube rebranding. September, we're gonna focus on time alone, fitness routine, because hopefully in September I should be, I don't have any trips planned, I don't think. And so September should be good for that. YouTube rebrand is not gonna be in October, it's gonna be in August. Kind of working on that. Oh, Jage Collective. 
that's gonna be in july i really want to release the collection in july you guys like i'm really i swear i'm almost done morning routine night routine 80 20 cooking okay i think this looks good i just kind of wanted to look at this again i feel like i didn't really look at it too much in june so now that i have the monthly breakdown it just kind of helps me look on it more on like a smaller scale of how i'm going to accomplish my yearly goals that's everything and then aside from my goals i just have more like little intentions and reminders to keep top of mind this year um just kind of all small things like i don't want to buy any more clothes i don't need my family is coming home my family did move back home and I just really want to spend more time with them now that they're back. Thomas just finished his first year of medical school and I made a whole surprise party for him and just kind of all of these things. I feel like intentions are really good, just things to keep in mind, but you don't have to have like a metric or a means of completing it. Well, that's everything for our yearly goals. I do also have to update my books in Media Hub because we do have, I have to add one more thing. Love and Other Words, that's the book that I finished reading. Christine Lauren, Christina. Christina Lauren is the author. I finished it when I got back from Boston. So I finished it on July 9th and I loved it, you guys. I think that was actually my favorite book yet. Okay, and then we're gonna add a little icon. Ooh, perfect. Okay, here's how my books and media hub looks. I still haven't finished Eight Rules of Love, but I'm just like not into nonfiction right now, so. Here's how this looks, movies and shows. I haven't really watched too much stuff. I haven't really watched anything really. Oh, I can add Bridgerton. Bridgerton season one and two. Loved that. I feel like I watched that for all of June with my boyfriend and date. I feel like I watched it for all of June and I love Bridgerton, you guys. I feel like I'll give Bridgerton like four stars. It's so freaking good, so good. And then I do want to watch Barbie and Oppenheimer for movies just because those are like literally the most talked about movies, but I haven't watched anything otherwise for movies. Oops. Podcasts, I don't really do much with podcasts, but that's there if anyone wants it. And yeah, that's how everything looks. Can you guys believe it? I feel like I've been actually doing really well with my books and media hub. I have so many books I need to add to my list though. I'm thinking about making just like a separate database of books that I want to read because there's so many. I can't keep up ideal routines this is all still pretty consistent i would say weekly check-in i don't really use too too much these days just because i have my bullet journal and i feel like that's kind of good enough so there's that but yearly goals again i feel like the big focus though was really just my yearly goals and kind of going through them with you guys so that is everything i'm gonna stop the screen recording thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know how you guys are doing on your yearly goals or if you don't have goals that's okay too i think you can still grow no matter what just because you don't have goals doesn't mean you're not growing and i just kind of want to know how the year is going for you guys if you guys have been watching my videos for the last couple of years or even just the last couple of months i feel like i'm genuinely the most happy i've ever been and i feel very balanced and i feel really like just myself again so for any of you that have been here all this time just thank Thank you so much. I'm so grateful to have you guys and I will see you guys in a new video very, very soon. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, I miss you already.